Hi, it's Michelle here. In this video, I'm going to show, show you a couple of things that I found out just yesterday when I was on a Zoom call with a colleague of mine. Um, and I've been using Zoom for a long time, weekly, for, for a meeting. And, um, and I didn't know these, uh, these little things you could do. The first is to share your uh, volume. You know, if you've tried to play a YouTube video or something like that, um, the other person on the call can't hear you, can't hear your sound coming from your YouTube. Um, and the second one is to actually take control of the other person's screen. So that would be really useful if you're a teacher and you're trying to teach somebody, show somebody how to, to do something. Um, it's really awkward trying to explain what to do. Go to this item, go to that item over here, over there, whereas you can actually take control of their screen and do it for them. So let's see if I can show you. Thank you to my friend and colleague, Susan Johnson, who showed me how to do both of these things. Unmute. Don't want to start my video because I'm using it in Camtasia. So let's say, first of all, hmm, if I go to share screen and I share, there we go, I'm sharing my Audacity screen and let's say I, I recorded something. This is a test to see if I can show on Zoom how you can share the sound when you're on a call. Okay. This is a test. To so we can hear that, but the person on the Zoom call can't. So what you have to do is come down here to where it says more and share computer sound. And that's all you have to do. And I never knew it was there. Um, so that was the first thing that I found. The second thing was, and I don't know if I can show you in here, because they have to be sharing their screen, I think. Hmm. I might have to show you this one later. So for this part, I've asked Kev to join me on the Zoom call so that I can demonstrate how I can take control of his screen. So Kev, hello. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Can you share your screen for me, please? Of course I can. Consider it shared. So now I'm on Kev's screen, we can see, if I go up here to view options, I can request remote control. So I'm going to click that and we get this message that we're about to request control. So I'm going to request and then Kev on his screen will get a message to say, do you allow it? So if you could allow that for me, Kev, can you see it? Yeah. So now I should have control of Kev's screen. So I'm going to type in the song that Kev did, the video that Kev did. Now you'll have to tell me if you can hear this in a minute, Kev, because I don't know if I've selected it to share the computer audio, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move that a bit further so they can see a bit more of your video, Kev. <laughs> I 
Okay, I've stopped it there. I don't know how it will play on the playback. It looked a bit choppy on there with recording as well. But anyway, that's how we take control of Kevin's screen. So I'll go back to his YouTube, YouTube homepage. And then if I click on it, click here, stop. Give up remote control, so Kev's got control of his own screen again now. So if you stop, do you know how to stop your screen share, Kev? Yeah, well, when it says stop share. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your help, husband. <laughs> very welcome. <laughs> you know how helpful I like to be. <laughs> Okay then, thanks, bye. Here we are. <laughs> I hope that helps some of you out. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell to be notified when I bring out new content. See you later.